uh, we shall continue our uh, study of solid geometry uh, in today's uh, lecture in at least in this lecture uh, i would like to tell you the second part that's basically your question number two uh, or second part of the syllabus uh, we talk about planes i won't go into too much of hair splitting nitty gritty definition of plane <clears throat> roughly we all understand what a plane is plane is a surface such that if any two points are taken on it then the line joining them lies completely on the surface straight plane you know what a plane is x y plane y z plane z x plane all these planes examples of planes uh, we are not going to prove too many results here uh, we will state a few results on plane without really defining it uh, without really proving it so let me start general equation of a plane is ax plus by plus cz plus d equal to zero a b c d are some real numbers x y z are of course variables usual like if you have only two variables ax plus by plus c equal to zero that's an equation of a straight line similarly ax plus by plus cz plus d equal to zero is an equation of a plane uh, now i may want the equation of a line which passes through a particular point so let's say particular point is x1 y1 z1 then equation of the plane of a plane passing through this point is given by a into x minus x1 b into plus b into y minus y1 plus c into z minus z1 plus d equal to 0 very easy proofs i will not uh, means i'll just tell you orally if you see if you expand this i'll get ax minus ax1 plus by minus by1 plus cz minus cz1 plus d equal to 0 but if x1 y1 z1 is on the plane then ax1 plus by1 plus cz1 plus d equal to 0 so that's precisely the term which is left out so you can see these kind of things but if you don't really follow everything don't bother for your examination point of view from your examination point of view you have to remember this formula that equation of a plane through a point if a point is given if i want some equation some equation of some plane passing through that point it is given by what is given in the bottom line a into x minus x1 plus b into y minus y1 plus c into z minus z1 equal plus d equal to zero a b c d are some real numbers as you change a b c d you'll get different planes equation of a plane passing through three points now x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 and x3 y3 z3 these are the three points of course you basically need to write this equation three times means first time a, a into x minus x1 plus b into y minus y1 plus c into z minus z1 plus d equal to 0 a into x minus x2 plus b into y minus y2 plus c into z minus z2 plus d equal to 0 and similarly for x3 y3 z3 you get three equations and four unknowns i have a b c d uh but there is some relation amongst them i won't go into full details so the equation of such a plane i mean you know actually there are four variables here unknowns a b c d but if you divide by d i'll get only three unknowns a by d b by d c by d and this is one so these kind of tricks are used in geometry i will not uh, go into more details don't bother if you didn't understand what i said but those of you who understood can see what i'm trying to say so even though there are it looks like three equations in four unknowns because i have given only three unknowns three points you can still solve for a b c uh, d in some sense there, there aren't three really three unknowns here they only sorry in this equation there aren't four unknowns there are actually only three unknowns understand that point that's all so equation of a plane passing through this x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 and x3 y3 z3 is given by this determinant x minus x1 y minus y1 z minus z1 x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 z2 minus z1 x3 minus x1 etc etc you see uh, I, I, how to remember this is easy you take this first determinant 2 by 2 x1 y x minus x1 y minus y1 x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 just the first two rows and first two columns that determinant that's the equation of the line passing through x1 y1 and x2 y2 work it out this into this minus this into this you must have seen this in your first uc or whenever you first learned analytical uh, geometry uh, so it's this is an extension of it x minus x1 y minus y1 z minus z1 in place of x you put x2 
repeat this in place of x you put x3 and repeat this so normally you are given x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 and x3 y3 z3 you substitute those here so you will get an equation in x y z linear equation it means powers of x y and z will all be equal to one and there are no cross terms that equation is the equation of the plane passing through these three points i'll show you examples specific examples first i'll list out all the results which are required for your examination if L M N are direction cosines of a line, then the equation of the plane which is perpendicular to this line. So here I'm given a line. I want to find the equation of a line, the equation of a plane which is perpendicular to this. And this plane must be at a distance P from origin. From origin, you see the whole thing is happening in a three-dimensional space, X, Y, Z axis. And I'm given a line. I'm given direction cosines of a line. So LMN is given, it's passing through, say, origin, it doesn't matter. And equation, oh, I want a plane perpendicular to this line, and that plane must lie at a distance P from origin. Then the equation is very simple, LX plus MY plus NZ equal to P. I'll, I know, first time, when, if you are hearing this, these may sound a bit abstract. When I give you examples, you'll be able to understand. So here, just give me five minutes. I'll list out all the results which we require angle between two planes now i want to define angle between two planes how do i do that see let's look at our day-to-day -day, uh, you know example i'll try to see that take two walls of a room adjacent walls two walls which meet each other in a line in an edge those two walls are at angle 90 degrees between them Means we will say normally that's what we will say no angle between the two walls is 90 degrees how do we how did we come across this basically you take normals to both the walls so this is one wall this side is one wall you take perpendicular to this wall and perpendicular to this wall so both of them meet uh, at an angle that angle is called angle between the planes themselves so in, in case of walls, adjacent walls, if the walls bet angle between them is 90 degrees, it means angle between the normals to the planes is 90 degrees. So here in general, we define angle between two planes is defined to be the angle between their normals. Normals means a line perpendicular to the plane. There are many lines, but all of them will have same direction cosines. So please understand that point. Uh, if the, uh, there's a formula for this, which is more important for you from your examination point of view. If theta is the angle between the planes A, so here is one plane A1x plus B1y plus C1z plus D1 equal to zero. And another plane A2x plus B2y plus C2z plus D2 equal to zero. Angle between them is given by this. It's a pretty bad looking formula, but it's not difficult. Cos theta is a1 a2 plus b1 p2 plus c1 c2 divided by a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square into a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square. Try to see similarity between this and angle between two lines whose uh, uh, direction cosines are given. That's precisely what we have done actually. You see, uh, anyway, I, I'll tell you the details later if needed. So this formula is very similar to what we saw before about angle between two lines whose direction cosines are given. That's more or less, that's what we have done here. Uh, an easy consequence, so this is the angle. Angle between, if the equation of two planes are given, the angle between them is given by this formula. That's what is the what you have to take home from this slide. As an easy consequence, planes are perpendicular. If perpendicular means theta must be pi by two, 90 degrees. So cos 90 is zero which means numerator must be zero. So A1, A2 plus B1, B2 plus A1, C2 must be zero. So I'll say these two planes are perpendicular if A1, A2 plus B1, B2 plus C1, C2 is equal to zero. Planes are parallel if A1 by A2 plus B equal to B1 by B2 equal to C1 by C2. Essentially, there are uh, two planes uh, which are parallel to each other. So their normals are actually same but they must be at some distance anyway this geometry of this is not difficult to see but i won't spend time on that you need to remember this result when is it perpendicular when is it parallel equation of a plane parallel to given plane so here is a plane is given to me ax plus by plus cz plus d equal to zero i want an equation of another plane which is parallel to this is first three coordinates the coefficients are same 
ax plus by plus cz plus k equal to 0. k can be any number other than d. If it is same as d, of course, these two planes are same. If it is different from d, then these two planes are parallel. That's the take home. And a perpendicular distance of a point x1, y1, z1 from the plane ax plus by plus cz plus d is 0 is given by this formula ax1 plus by1 plus cz1 plus d divided by root of a square plus b square plus c square. These are all standard formula. I know everything you can't remember at one go, but these are the formula which are important from your examination point of view. I'll show you problems where hopefully it will become clearer. So let us go slowly. Find the equation of the plane which cuts off intercepts alpha, beta and gamma from the axes. Uh, that means I want the equation of a plane such that that plane cuts x axis at alpha comma 0 comma 0. Uh, that the plane cuts y axis at 0 comma beta comma 0. That plane cuts z axis at 0 comma 0 comma z uh, comma gamma. So these are the three intercepts. Intercepts means where the plane intersects the coordinate axis. Uh, so let's call equation of the plane B AX plus BY plus CZ plus D equal to 0 because I know equation of any plane is this AX plus BY plus CZ plus D equal to 0. Now I want to find A, B, C, D. I have three unknowns, four unknowns here. As I said, there aren't actually four, there are only three because I can divide the whole thing by D or A or B or C, any one of them. Uh, but let's not hurry. Let's see. So AX plus BY plus CZ plus D equal to 0 is the equation of the plane. Now I know three points on this. I know alpha X, X intercept is alpha means alpha comma 0 comma 0 is a point on the plane. Means plane intersects X axis at alpha comma 0 comma 0. That means the point alpha comma 0 comma 0 is actually on the plane. Similar, uh, but that means you substitute this alpha comma 0 comma 0 in this equation. It should be true. The equation must be true. So for x I put alpha, for y I put 0, for z I put 0. So I'll get a alpha plus b 0, b into 0 plus c into 0 plus d equal to 0, which means a is equal to minus b by alpha. That is what uh, is the relation between a and d. Similarly, y intercept is beta means 0 comma beta comma 0 is a point on the plane, which means if I substitute this in this 0 comma beta comma 0 in ax plus by plus cz plus d equal to 0, I must get a true equation, which means I'll substitute x equal to 0, y equal to beta, z equal to 0 in ax by plus cz plus d 0, which means b is equal to minus d by b. Similarly, Z intercept is gamma means 0 comma 0 comma gamma is a point on the plane, which means I substitute that in the equation of the plane, I'll get C equal to minus D by gamma. So now I know A, B, C, all three in terms of D. So I'll substitute that here. A is minus D by alpha, X, minus D by beta, Y, minus D by gamma, Z, plus D equal to 0. You see, D gets cancelled. This is what I was telling you. Okay, you divided by D right at the beginning. So you divide by T, D, I'll get this. Well, minus 1 by alpha X, minus 1 by beta Y, minus 1 by gamma Z, plus 1 equal to 0. Now you, same thing as saying, you take all these three, the other side, and write it this side. I get X by alpha plus Y by beta plus Z by gamma equal to 1. This is the equation of a plane. Which, ha which has x intercept equal to alpha, y intercept is beta, and z intercept is gamma. You can see that is true because x intercept means y and z are 0. So if you put y and z equal to 0, you will get x by alpha equal to 1, which means x equal to alpha. That means alpha comma 0 comma 0 is x intercept. Similarly, you can put x and z 0, you will see y is beta. You put z equal to 0, you will get, sorry, x and y is 0, you will get z equal to gamma. So this is correct is what we have verified. So I hope it's clear the method of attack is always the same thing. If you want to find the equation of a plane, I'll say that the equation of the plane, let it be x plus by plus cz plus d equal to 0. I'm given three different points, just substitute them and then I'm done. That's uh, done means even though there are four unknowns, I can divide by one of them and make it three unknowns. So I solve for it. That's what I That's all for those three unknowns. That's what I have done here. 
let us see an explicit another previous one was very easy because the intercepts were alpha 0 0 0 beta 0 and 0 0 gamma so they were easy kind of thing because there are two of them two of the coordinates are always zero in one of the point but now i'm giving you a different kind of point 1 comma 2 comma minus 3 minus 1 comma 4 comma 2 and 3 comma 5 comma 1 i want a plane which passes through these three points 1 2 and 3 how do i do that so i know there is an equation the required equation is if, I, if you give me three points this is the equation of the plane which passes through x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 and x3 y3 z3 i told you this formula so i'll use this so i'll substitute x1 y1 z1 i'll substitute 1 2 comma minus 3 x2 y2 z2 i'll substitute this minus 1 4 2 x3 y3 z3 i'll substitute this 3 5 1 so that's what i'm doing here it is uh, evaluate this determinant in the usual way so i will not say anything you can see it on the screen i substituted this so this means this into determinant of this which is 2 into 4 8 minus 3 into 5 15 i written here similarly minus y by 2 the minus 2 into 4 which is minus 8 minus 2 into 5 minus 10 and similarly z plus 3 into minus 6 minus 4 which is what i written here i evaluated this it says, I mean, you can do this 8 minus 15 is minus 7, minus 8 minus 10, minus 18, minus 6 minus 4 is minus 10, and evaluate this minus 7x plus 7, etc. etc. I'll get this minus 7x plus 18 by minus nz minus 15n. This is what I get, but the equation was this is equal to 0, so that is what I get here 7x minus 8y plus 10z plus 59 equal to 0. So this is the equation of the plane which passes through those three points 1 comma 2 comma minus 3 minus 1 comma 4 comma 2 3 comma 5 comma 1. If you're not this, you substitute each of these points in this last equation. The equation to check the uh, now let us see one more kind of problem. So I told you two different kinds of problems when three intercepts are given how to find the equation of the plane when three points are given how to find the equation of the plane now i'm asking one more question find the equation of the plane which passes through this point 4 comma minus 3 comma 1 and is parallel to this plane this is another plane this is a plane and i want an equation of a plane which is parallel to this but passes through this Parallel to this means I have a formula. Equal plane parallel to this is same as this. A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, same, D, C, D, change. Correct? This is the formula which I told in the beginning. Uh, A, 2x plus 3y plus 4z plus 5 equal to 0. Any plane which is parallel to this is 2x plus 3y plus 4z plus k equal to 0. This k is what I have find now. How do I find that? Oh, this is the plane on which this point is. So I substitute this point in this, which means I'll write 2 into 4 plus 3 into minus 3 plus 4 into 1 plus k equal to 0. I hope you understand this. See, given this plane, a plane parallel to this is given by this, where A, B, C are same and D is something other than 5 because we know equation parallel to this is given by this that's one of the formula you to recall and this plane passes through this point that means this point is on this plane so i substitute this here so 2 into 4 uh, that's what i have done here 2 so this is the equation of the i'm repeating plane parallel to this is given by this and 4 minus 3 1 lies on this plane which means if i substitute 4 minus 3 1 in this it should be true it should be true means equation must be true so i substitute 4 minus 3 1 in this 2 into 4 plus 3 into minus 3 plus 4 into 1 plus k equal to 0 solve for k you'll get k equal to minus 3 substitute this in this now so that's your answer so hence the equation of the required plane which is parallel to this and passes through this point is given by this so understand the strategy. I'm given a plane. I'm given a point. I want to write a plane parallel to this plane passing through this point. I know equation of any plane parallel to this is given by more or less this only constant term will change. To find that constant term, I'll use the fact that this plane passes through this point, which is given to me. So I'll substitute that and find k. That's what I have done. As simple as that.
find the equation of a plane. So these are all the kinds of problems you will get in the exam. I am going fast now because if you want, you can see these lectures again and again. Same question means uh, just see it a couple of times. You will understand it better. Find the equation of a plane passing through a point is given to me and a normal to the line joining these points. That means, Lord, please understand the question. I want the equation of a plane passing through this point and normal to the line joining these two points. If you take these two points, you draw a line. That line must be normal. Normal means perpendicular, perpendicular to the plane. And that plane must pass through this point. These are the conditions. I want a plane passing through this point. There are infinitely many planes passing through this point. Among them, check, check one which has normal. See, as the plane changes, the normal also changes. Amongst them, the normal must be one which is the line join of these two points. That is what I want. Equation of such a plane. How to find it? So I'll try to find the uh, first. I'll say let the equation uh, e means I know equation of a plane which passes through this point is given by this equation of a plane passing through x1, y1, z1 is a into x minus x1 plus b into y minus y1 plus z then c into z minus z1 equal to zero. That I told you right in the beginning. So I use that to get one relation between a, b, and c a into x minus 2 because it has to pass through 2 0 minus 1 so i'll substitute x1 equal to 2 y1 equal to 0 and z1 is equal to minus 1 so i get this equation so let's call this equation 1 direction ratio of the line joining these two see the remember this i want the equation of a plane passing through this point and normal to the line joining of joining these two points so i'll try to find direction ratio of these two a line join of these two points so direction ratio i remember you, if you remember from previous lecture if two points are given direction ratio of the line joining those two is difference of the two so three minus one two minus minus three minus four minus six so which is this uh, this seemed to be wrong no it's correct three minus one is two two minus minus three is five minus four minus minus six is six minus four two correct so 2 5 2 is the direction ratio of that line and line normal to the plane one th this line must be normal to the plane which is given by this equation that's what i'm looking for this plane has normal which is line join of these two and direction ratio of these two line points lines which join those two points i have found out that so the, the line, this line is normal to that given plane, well, not given, uh, plane which I want to find. Hence, A, B, C are proportional to 2, 5 and 2. Uh, A, B, C, what are A, B, C? A, B, C are the coefficients of X, Y and Z in the plane which I want. Here, A, B and C. They are the coefficients of x, y, z basically that must be proportional to this direction uh, ratios which means uh, I just substitute instead of a, b, c I can substitute 2, 5, 2 proportional because I can just multiply by any constant that's what proportional is I explained this in my previous lecture before that so 2 into x minus 2 plus 5 into y minus 0 plus 2 into z plus 1 is 0 basically what I have done this is my equation of a plane passing through 2, 0, minus 1. Instead of A, B, C, I can write direction ratios 2, 5, 2. That's what I have done here. I evaluate that. Means I simplify that. I get this. 2 into x minus 2 plus 5y minus 0 plus 2z plus 1. So I get minus 4 plus 2, which is minus 2, which is what I written. Rest of it is 2x plus 5y plus 2z as it is added. Thank you. This, I mean, I'm sure you understood this. Let's do one more problem and perhaps we may stop it here or let's see. Find the equation of the plane passing through this point minus 1, 4, 3 and perpendicular to these two planes. Now, two planes are given that I want my plane to be perpendicular to both the planes and it must pass through this point. 
see so given any plane there are plenty of planes which are perpendicular to that you choose any line through the you check a plane take any line through that plane and you take a line you take a plane which contains that line and i can rotate it like this they are all perpendicular to the original plane so i have plenty of planes you anyway this is i don't want to draw pictures as it takes more time uh, but uh, it's okay i think one can spend a little bit of time on this let us draw uh, let's see if it is possible to draw planes perpendicular to a plane in this uh, uh, parallel plane perpendicular no you can't really do that so let me not bother about drawing this picture instead of that i'll explain this how to solve it using these numbers it's more like an algebra problem i'm sorry but that's how it is find the equation of the plane passing through this point the plane must pass through this point and it must be perpendicular to both these planes how do i do that so here it is equation of a plane equation of any plane passing through this is given by this a into x minus x1 plus b into y minus y1 plus c into z minus z1 equal to 0 so x1 y1 z1 is this so i got this now i have three unknowns a b c uh, this plane i want it to be perpendicular to this and this if i want it to be perpendicular to this i have some condition you see that's what i will use plane this plane is perpendicular to this means 5 into a plus 2 into y, uh, 2 into b plus minus 3 into c must be 0. You remember a1, a2, b1, b2, c1, c2, their sum must be 0. So that's what it is. And similarly, this plane is perpendicular to the other, this another plane means 3 into a plus 2 into minus, minus 2 into b plus c into 1 must be equal to 0. So I get another equation. So this is one equation. This is one equation. Both I got by seeing that the equation, uh, the line per plane is perpendicular to one of the given planes. This is the given plane. And this must be perpendicular to the plane which I'm trying to find. And similarly, this is another plane which must be perpendicular to the plane I'm trying to find. So I get these two relations between A, B, C and I already had one relation. So these are the two, uh, uh, no, I didn't have a relation before. So I'm, I have to find A, B, C. Of course, two equations, three unknowns, but actually really not three unknowns because I can divide by C. So I'll use rule of cross multiplication. I'll explain this because many of you might be seeing it for the first time. If I have two equations and three unknowns, how do I solve? Here it is. You write down this equation and this equation one below the other so a coefficient is under a b b c c it's written like that now you write a here divided by you forget the column of a the other two uh, other four numbers are there two minus three minus two one that is what i have written here determinant a by this two minus three minus 2 1 this must be equal to now this one i will forget here is i'll write minus b divided by you forget this column remaining is 5 3 and minus 3 1 i'll write that here 5 3 minus 3 1 basically i have forgotten this particular column and remaining to four coefficients i write it in the form of a determinant similarly last one is c divided by 5 2 3 minus 2 that's what i written 5 2 3 minus 2 so these are equal that is what rule of cross multiplication means don't ask me the proof of this now uh, some kramer's rule kind of thing this is so a divided by this determinant equal to minus b don't forget that minus minus b divided by forget this column remaining determinant 5 minus 3 and 3 1 and equal to c by you forget c and remaining determinant 5 2 3 minus 2 that's what i have done here now evaluate this a this is 2 into 1 minus 6 minus minus of minus so this is uh, minus 6 2 
minus 6, which is minus 4, and this is 5 plus 9, which is 14. This is minus 10, minus 6, minus 16. So A, B, C, I'll get A by, I mean, you know, just simplify this, multiply. A by minus 4 equal to minus B by 14 equal to C by minus 16 means A by 2 plus equal to B by 7 equal to C by 8. You can see these kind of uh, computations. You just multiply this by minus 2, you'll get this. So once I know this, I'll substitute this here. A, uh, whatever is denominator of A, I mean, I can put this all equal to some P or something like that. And then substitute A is equal to 2PB equal to 7PC equal to 8P. So you substitute all that, P will again get cancelled. Instead of that, you just put whatever in the denominator of A, you put it in place of A. Whatever is in the denominator of B, you put it in place of B. Whatever is in denominator of C, you put it in place of C. This was the equation of the plane, remember. So passing through minus 1, 4, 3. So in this A, B, C, I have found. So I substituted that and simplified. I get 2x plus 7y plus 8z plus 50 equal to 0. So let me just give me one minute. Let me check how much. Uh, three minutes. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Maybe I can try to finish this one problem. Let us see. Two planes are given by this. These are the two planes. 2x minus 3y plus 4z plus 3 equal to 0. x minus y plus 3z minus 5 equal to 0. Now find the direction cosines of their line of intersection. Let's do one problem at a time. Three problems are there. Acute angle between the planes. Equation of the plane perpendicular to both of them. Cutting through, uh, through this point. This one. Okay. This we have already done. Uh, these two is sort of new. It's not really new, but let's try to do this quickly. Direction cosines of the line of intersection. So these two planes are given. Those two will intersect in a line. Two planes will always intersect in a line. Now one is asking to find direction cosine of that. Try to understand this uh, two planes. If you view, there of course they are parallel. Here they are not parallel because the coefficients are not proportional. So they will intersect. Two planes will always intersect in a straight line. So let's first try to find direction ratio or no, we, we are trying to find direction ratio of the line of intersection. So direction ratios of the normal to the plane. So given a plane, this is a result which you should know. Given a plane normal to this, if you take a line, that line will have direction cosine to uh, direction ratio 2 minus 3, 4. 2 minus 3, 4. I told one uh, equal, one result right in the beginning. You take LMN. If you take a line whose direction cosines, direction ratios are LMN, a uh, plane which is perpendicular to this is given by LX plus MY plus NZ plus some constant equal to 0. So here the constant is 3, doesn't matter. So LX plus MY plus NZ. So LMN are 2 minus 3, 4. Similarly, for this the uh, uh, normal to this plane, its direction ratio is 1 minus 1, 3. So I written both of them here. Direction ratio of normal to this plane is this. Direction ratio of normal to this plane is this. This means basically the coefficients. That's what I do. Uh, line of intersection of the planes is perpendicular to both these normals. Remember, if I take two planes and they intersect in a line, now you take a normal to this plane and normal to this plane. That means this normal to the first plane is of course normal to this line also, the intersection line. Similarly, you take normal to the other plane that is also normal to the line of intersection. So line of intersection of the planes is perpendicular to both these normals. So let us uh, uh, line of intersection, let its uh, direction ratio be ABC. If its direction ratio is ABC, then this is perpendicular to this and this. If it is perpendicular to this, I'll get 2L minus 3M plus 4N equal to 0. And it's perpendicular to this, 1L, that is L minus M plus 3N equal to 0. So that is what I have written here. Oh, here I have not taken LMN, sorry, it's direction ratio, so I'll take it as ABC. So 2A minus 3B plus 4C is 0. A minus B plus 3C is 0. So you again use the same rule of cross multiplication. You write A here. I want to find ABC. So write A here and 
its denominator must be determinant of the other two and minus b its determinant must be you throw away b column you write 2 4 1 3 that's what i have written here then equal to c by the determinant of the rest 2 minus 3 1 minus 1 so i evaluate all these things i'll get a b c i'll substitute this here so direction that's it direction ratio of line is 5 minus 5 2 comma minus 1 that is a b c this is i'll get 5 2 minus 1 so that is the direction ratio. If I want direction cosine, I have to just divide by root of 5 square plus 2 square plus 1 minus 1 whole square, which is what I have done. I get some horrible root 30. So I divide each of them by root 30. Now I want to find the angle between the two places. I hope it's clear. I mean, you understood what I'm trying to tell. Uh, understand what we are trying to do. Given these two planes, I want to find the direction cosine of their line of intersection. First, I will find... Uh, normal to this plane and normal to this plane i can easily find that because the coefficients are the normals i mean direction ratio of the normal now i want somebody who is normal to both these means he must be normal to this and this so that is given by uh, this these conditions if the lines direction ratio is abc then these are the uh, equations which abc has to satisfy and then by rule of cross multiplication, I get A, B, and C. And direction ratio is 5, 2, comma, minus 1. So hence, I can find direction cosine, which, is, which I get by dividing by uh, modulus of it, essentially. Root of 5 square plus 2 square plus minus 1 whole square. Okay. Uh, now, how to find angle between the planes? So that is the straightforward formula. I know A1x plus B1y plus C1z plus D equal to 0 and A2x plus B2y plus C2z plus D2 D equal to 0. The angles between them is given by this formula. So directly I substituted it here. That's all. There's nothing else. Uh, now I want, what is the C? Question number C. Let's quickly, uh, forgotten already. Equation of the plane perpendicular to both of them through this point. This we have already done. It's like the, exactly the previous problem. So I will not bother too much about it. Point, the plane is on, point 0.421 is on the plane. So I get the equation of the plane. And then I know this is perpendicular to this. So which means A into 2 plus 3, minus 3 into B plus 3 into C is 0. Similarly, this plane is perpendicular to this also. So then I'll get A into 1 plus B into minus 1 plus C into plus 3 equal to 0. I get two equations in ABC. Usual rule of cross multiplication. I get ABC. And uh, I found ABC. So I substitute in the original plane, which passed through 4 to 1. So I get this equation. I think uh, this much will suffice for uh, uh, this particular part. So I will uh, stop here. Uh, perhaps... We can continue again some other time. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I hope you understood whatever I told.